Plato, Aristotle, Thucydides, Socrates, and a few others. Well, what are you off to this morning? Serving my lord. You're always serving our lord. By destroying the lunatics. Why do those people bother you so much? We got that evil Stephen this morning. I never heard of him. One of the lunatics. Well, which lunatics? So which lunatics, she asks? Well, Jerusalem is loaded with lunatics. The followers of the divine one. Oh, damn. They'll probably disappear. Don't you care about how these people can destroy our lives? To you as a Jew and to me both as a Ro Roman and a Jew. They're harmless and very silly. All they preach is love and all they want is death. They are a cancer on our society. Take this Stephen. Get so upset. Uh, enough on the subject. But what can I do for you, my kinswoman? Nothing. I want to pay you what I owe you. What do you owe? I thought you kept good records. I do. Then I owe you four pieces of silver for the tent my dear deceased husband purchased two years ago. Can you afford four pieces of silver? Of course. Ooh, liar. I'm not a liar. Tell me in truth, can you afford it? No. Then the debt is paid. I, I won't accept charity. Be on your way, or I shall throw you out of here. You really are a good man, Saul. Spend the money on your family. Buy a new garment for your son. He certainly could use one. No one. <laughs> No one knows all the good you've done. I won't know in Jerusalem. You know why I'm from? They must die. Each one of them must die. But they are fellow Israelites. All the more reason why they must be dealt with harshly. There is much difficulty brewing in Damascus. If anyone can put an end to this nonsense, it is you, Saul. I, I need letters to the synagogue. Already done. Truly, you are a righteous man, Saul. When I return, I must pay a visit to the home of that fisherman and his fellow lunatics. They must die. But have some pity. I will destroy every last one of them. Scene three. Dark off stage. Peter, James, Thomas, and Andrew can be heard rushing in from the outside, all nearly out of breath. Peter slams the door shut. We made it. I think we lost them. I'm not sure. Keep your voice down. The worst of the Pharisees. Lord save us from the tent maker. We must love our enemies. Every rule has its exception. They all run into a hiding place. Open up. Open up. Let's save us from the devil, Lord. Amen. Amen. Scene four. The road to Damascus. My horse must be, must be thirsty. Look at the way he's behaving. What is that light from the sky? What, stop. What has gotten into you? What, what is that light? What is that light? Is that light? Whoa! Whoa, that is poor. Whoa! God! Help me, God! Soul Help. falls to the ground. You have slept well, Saul. Do I hear a voice? You have slept many hours. And about my horse? He is well. <coughs> Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? This voice sounds familiar. I am the Nazarene whom you are persecuting. Can you stand on your feet? I, I, I cannot. You will be my greatest apostle. Why me, Lord? <laughs> you were chosen in your mother's womb. I am have to suffer for my name. Yes, Lord. He will interpret my word to the Gentiles. Such a mean-spirited messenger. And that is who must have the... To believe that? So Tarsus would be the last man on earth that the master would choose to spread the word. You are not God. <laughs> Peace, my brothers in Christ. As you were once chosen by God, so is Saul of Tarsus now. Paul has been chosen an apostle of God. 
We were chosen when Jesus was alive. So what? The master lives forever. Do you lack faith? There is silence. Now come, or I shall find you. Come, Peter, don't be a coward again. Come, I will not harm you. I, I said come. The apostles begin filtering into the room. Y yes, I, I am a new man filled with the Holy Spirit. You all of Tarsus is not the Lord. I am not worthy of holding his sandal. I am his apostle on earth, and I will die for him. He seems to speak from the heart. Pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth, I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the word for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. I am with you all the way. You are convincing, but can I, brethren, I can use the help. I also came to introduce my cousin Mark here, one of the original disciples. I have known you both since you were born. From the tribe of <coughs> Levi, Mark? Yes, sir. Uh, you are, are the only disciple I have not met yet. But you said you knew me from birth. You were not discussing the teachings of the Master in those days. <laughs> I am now, however, and I'm preparing my recollections of the Master's teachings for future <coughs> generations. We have both been given missions to accomplish for the Lord. Yes, yes. And you don't believe that I have? He preached throughout Palestine. Yeah. That's That's Jesus, Jesus story. God has been with us through all ages. God. And you still do not believe in him. Do you want to hear? You do not blaspheme. I do not blaspheme. Hang him. Hang him. Hang him. Hang him. The demonstrators move toward Paul. Mark steps in front of him. Do not come one step closer. You will regret to anger, thinks no evil, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Charity never fails. There remain faith, hope, and charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. That is the message I like to hear. Oh. 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 Let us now take our leave. We, we shall return. Now we must go. Your brilliance comes from above, my brother. I am, I am insane. What? I am insane with the freedom and love of God and for all of us. But not to all. You, you hear the demonstrators change from one moment to the next. What do the Levites say about me? Found a nice way to get him to behave himself by using the sacred writing. What sacred writing? An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. Have you asked for your rabbi's advice? I will stick with the old covenant then. Oh, it's no hell. He told me to be obedient. Well, I told him to take an extended walk in the Dead Sea. <laughs> what do you say to wives? Wives, be subject to your own husbands, as to the Lord. The husband is the head of the wife, as Christ also is head of the church. I have a wife who never does what I tell her to do. Aren't you head of the household? She says I am, and then does whatever she wants to do. I have even beaten her, and she still does whatever she wants. Word of Jesus. Hear us. Jupiter! Mercury! Jupiter! Mercury! Let us escape at once. How foolish can men be? Don't ask, just run. Where is Mark? I do not know. Scene four, the Apostles' home. Paul is reading. James enters. My brother James. Good afternoon, brother Paul and Barnabas. I know you are all ready to leave on your next journey, but I must see you for a moment, Paul. The brethren is confused between what the Lord taught and what you are teaching. We must clarify before you leave. There can be no contradiction between the Lord and me. If I am in error, I will correct anything I have said. Speak on. 
I believe we have a difference in our approach to faith and works, Brother Paul, which is confusing the brethren. What might that be? I believe we are justified by works, and you believe we are justifi justified by faith. I disagree. Abraham had faith in God. We are children of Abraham. Abraham not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. <laughs> he made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him, and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of them. soup and bread in Jerusalem. How are the children? Oh, we tried to invite you to the weddings, but we couldn't find you. You're always on the move. To spread the word. Oh, that again. She hands him a loaf of bread and a bowl of soup. What do you mean by that again? The soup will do you good. You look... End of play. <laughs>